Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use button control AB switch with character shooting. All right, so let me just give you a quick example of what I'm gonna show you how to make. So this is switch AB, and then also you have the character shooting. We're gonna be creating that. So I thought it'd be best to start with a new template so you can follow along. And the best one I think for our example is Pivot Dual. First thing I'm gonna do is just get rid of these enemy blocks because I don't want it. And uh, what else, what else? Characters, I'll just like change it a little bit, bring them in. 180, so just make it, maybe make it 84. Cool, uh, character looks kind of weak or degraded, but whatever. Okay, now I just need a simple shape. You know what, why don't we use a star and then we can just have this be the bullet. So I have this be the object. Make it smaller, point it to go ahead and make that a character bullet. When you have character bullet, make sure make sure you watch out for this linear velocity x of 20. It does that automatically. If you don't know it's coming, then you will be confused when it happens. So now I'm just gonna have it shoot up and let's see, this is a character. So master slave and scrap. Oh, actually before I do that, I want to copy this actually. And Put it upside down, 180, move it directly over here. So same velocity, so now this is a velocity of 20, so it's shooting straight up, but again, this is upside down, so it's gonna shoot away. It's always tough to make sure you get it on the right character, because it's two characters, but I also think it might not matter, because, well, actually, you know what, that's not true. If one character gets destroyed, I think in this case, both characters get destroyed, but it's just, okay, so character, bullet, character, bullet, this character back to where it was. Oh, okay, so what that is is actually in the in this game preset, there is a move feature. So we just have to get rid of this, just get rid of the animation, and you can see it working properly now. Okay, so we got, so the AB switch is working. Let me just go through the character movement to show you what's going on here. These are the settings, this is all good, advanced movement. Okay, so uh, AB switch, angular velocity of two, B switch two. Negative two is A switch. I'm surprised that there's not an on start, which makes me think that maybe this is just built in. On start, it doesn't move. Okay, I guess, that's, I guess that is the case. Now we're gonna change this to single shooting. Shooting could also work. I think the biggest difference is being able to hold it down, maybe, I'm not sure. So here we go, this is where we add the shooting element. This is a switch button. Actually, technically, we're selected on a platform right now. So switch button, everything is good. Now what you want is a character button. You want a character button, shooting. And I've literally spent 30 minutes being very perplexed by this, but all you do is you, you move the shooting button and you move it above the switch button. And then you go down here and you select block through touch. Layering is so important. Follow this step and you can you will save yourself 30 minutes just trying to figure out what wasn't set up properly. And then you go to function and you hit shoot. like that. That's it. Watch, I'm just gonna jump into the gameplay. Don't see the stars now because they're bullets and they only come out when you shoot. Okay, so obviously there's like speed issues and angle issues with these bullets. So I can go in, take a look. Well, I don't know why that circle's moving, but it's just, it's the spawn rate. You wanna have a very fast spawn rate so that you can do like tap, 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 tap. Otherwise, you're limited to being able to shoot one per second, which is probably not what you're looking for. See, that's like super fast. Okay, so let's go over it again. You wanna make sure you have the spawn rate of 0.1. You can do 0.5, you just don't want it at one. A spawn rate of one means you have one new spawn every one second, and 1,001, 1,002. And when you're playing, you probably want multiple spawns in a single second. I have set it to 0.1, so it's pretty straightforward. So you can do tap, 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 and get multiple enemies shooting out at the same time while taking advantage of switch A, switch B. So here's an example. Not sure why that circle piece is leaving, but now we got switch A, switch B with shooting. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, please let me know. I would love to give a crack at it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.